All right, well, Sheba never really hated us that much. So let's get relations up with Sheba. We'll go annex them. But the rest of these guys, it just ain't going to happen. Wow, we have eight relations. Wow. All Mmm, 316. It's probably not going to happen. Well, how about that? We are now Japan. I like it. I like that. Embargoed by Korea, whatever. Conquer Korea. Incorporate Ochi. Create a fleet. Oh, do we have? Do we inherit any fleet or anything? No, we have no ships. We have no ships at all. And uh, we should probably get a decent military instead of all mercs. Right now we have all mercs. And yes, kids, mercs can and will win you a lot of wars. Oh, we can finally core this shit, though. That's nice. Smugglers running rampant. My goodness. Lose stability and money. Hell no, I'm not losing stability and money. You got your goddamn mind. Looks like Ming got an heir. Yes, they did. Manchu, however, do not have an heir. Ooh. Yeah, we should see if we can't get them as our buddies. Why not? Alright, let's see if we can't help out our vassal here. Did that help relations a bit? Uh, nope. Oh, defended our territory plus 12. Wow, plus 12. Feels good. Hey, we discovered the coast of Arabia. Just the very, the very tip. The Muscate Coast. Musket Coast? Is that where muskets come from? Maybe. Oh man, we won the war. Japan is our bitch. All those vassals become ours. Oh, it's beautiful. Cores are finishing. Nice. Excellent. That should get rid of the revolt risk pretty much. Oh, we still have some revolt risk from what? Oh, legitimacy. Oh my goodness, becoming the Emperor, becoming the Shogun has trashed our legitimacy. Shogun Nobumori Takeda. Our legitimacy is garbage. Wow. Uh, oh well, it's not the end of the world really. Yeah, I don't think Yaman is going to happen. That aggressive expansion penalty is ridiculous. My goodness, 371. Enemy of enemy, improved relations. We can't do much more than that. Revolt and Mutsu. I'll just put you on Hunt Rebels for now. If you're Mercs, you might as well do murky things, right? In the meantime, what is our max manpower? 17. Can we build any manpower buildings? Nope. What tech is manpower buildings? Next level. Alright, next tech we can actually build armories. So until then, our manpower is just garbage. We get 162 per month. Wow. That's just so bad. Anything under 1k a month is just awful.
All right, come back from Yamana. Let's talk a little bit with the Manchu. So I would love to get a marriage with you, Manchu. You and me both. He's 15, he has no heir. I need this marriage. I mean, we're sort of close. Just not quite there, huh? I guess we could do some trade ships. Can't hurt. Okay, we're done with Manchu, right? No, you're not going to automatically come home? Not that bug again. <laughs> Uh, where you have to restart the game for it to stop bugging out like that. When you reach the relations limit, it's supposed to do, give a pop-up asking, do you want to keep the Diplo there or do you want to bring him home? And the pop-up sometimes bugs out and doesn't come at all. So it just automatically leaves him there forever. And it's like, what? Still no marriage. Damn it. Can we, uh... Let's guarantee him and get access. Oh shit, that's his capital. His capital just got sieged by the Oirat Horde. Poor guy. Alright, what else can we do to make you happy, huh? Uh, I can give you some small subsidies. Yeah. I'll give you a whole ducat for five years. I'm cheap, I know. Oh, the trade ships are done. Great. Group up. Let's build two more. Oh, we can't afford two more. Alright, group up. There you go. We can start repaying some loans, I guess. Probably the best, best thing to do. Get rid of these loans. I think he has to change his attitude towards us before we can get this marriage, and that kind of sucks. Because he could just die by then, right? Hmm. Oh well, 14 loans to go. We'll get there. Mexico. Yeah, we're pushing trade from Mexico, because, you know, that, that makes sense. No, really. Sure. We push a lot of trade from Mexico. It's just, it's what we do. It's a thing that we do. Come on, Manchu. Change your opinion of me. God. Alright, repay another loan. Down to 13. Uh, 
could get rid of some inflation. Probably should. It's the gold mines that's causing inflation to steadily increase. Kind of annoying, but what can you do? You know. And yeah, we topped out relations here, but it didn't t didn't it didn't let us know. It's kind of annoying. Hmm. Well, we're not going to be annexing any vassals anytime soon. That's sure. Miwat. Why does Ming have Miwat as a rival? That makes no sense. Whatever. I'm trying to match rivals with Ming, but he keeps changing it. He had Bengal, so we put Bengal, and then he changed it. And now he just had John Poor, and he took John Poor out too. Fuck Ming. Jesus Christ, he can't. He can't do it. He can't figure out how to stop changing rivals. There we go. Alright. He still has no air. Oh, come on. I really want... We're actually really close. Hmm... Tiny little bit, please. 37 out of 37. Oh, man. Can I get a statesman? No, there's only a level 2. Damn it. Hmm. Inflation reduction. Let me get that guy. That'll help. Gain inflation or lose stability. Fuck you, game. I'll lose the stability. God damn it. We already have enough inflation, so. Conquer Korea. Incorporate Ochi, create a fleet. None of these sound appeasing. Gain prestige or lose admin points. Oh man. Essentially, it's directly t exchanging money for prestige and admin points, essentially. Damn it. Don't make me take another loan. <gasps> Marriage. And he still has no heir. Yes, now he's going to get my dynasty. Yes. My dynasty. Oh, lovely day. Not that it matters that much, but still nice. Oh, what the hell is Pegu doing down here in Ayodhya? What the hell? When does Pegu ever win a war against Ayodhya? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, that's strange. And Manchu and the Oirats, they seem to be going back and forth. It looks pretty even. It's pretty much zero war score, yeah. Hmm. Okay, we pay some loans. Only 12 more to go. It's actually not that bad. Interesting, they'll take a marriage but not an alliance. Hmm. They are still upset about aggressive expansion. <laughs>
Alright, Manchu won the war. He took one province, Selengi. Alright, well. He took a province, congratulations. Now please don't settle down and have babies. Oh shit, he hates me. Wait, why are you hostile? No, seriously, why are you hostile? I don't get it. I don't know, but Manchu just went hostile. Don't know why. Hey, let's lose some stability, everybody. That sounds fun. Love losing stability. I guess we can delete one of our generals, huh? Assam will cede Koch to Tibet. Wow, look at Tibet taking land from Assam. That's pretty neat. Loans, loans on the loans. L -l loans, l -l loans, 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 loans. Loans, 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 loans. Loans, 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 like mega hate us. So how do we, how do we do that? Uh, Japan, when they were Japan, he used a CB called a next vassal on us. That was his CB. It was called a next vassal, and his target was to take our capital Kai. Do I, as Japan, not get that same CB to annex our vassals? Why not? Why don't I get that CB? I want a CB to an ex-vassal. Anyone in Twitch chat know how to do that? Like, how did the AI do that to me? He still has no air. Five. Has to be a big daimyo to get that CB? Ah. But that does no good, because the only daimyos are a 5 province, a 4 province, and a 1 province. Damn it. Alright, let's see if we have a better relations over time guy, because that's the only thing that'll really help right now. And we don't. Of course we don't. Why would we have that? Why do we have anything helpful? Why ask why? Alright, loans are getting repaid. Calm your tits. I've got your damn blood money. Uh, yeah, this says a diplomatic one. So this one is just to hit the NX button, the diplomatic way, the peaceful way. And that's not going to happen because they're at negative uh, 200. And they're going to stay there for a while. 
Negative 200. Military divided? No. Uh, morale? Sure. Whatever. Manchu still has no air. Ow. <laughs> Five loan extensions. That means our inflation went up by 0.5. Oof. I mean, it's not that bad. And we do have a guy actively working to lower it, right? The problem is, the guy that's lowering it, look at this. Even with the advisor that lowers inflation, we're still getting more inflation. 0 0.12 from our reliance on gold mines. <laughs> that's horrible. Well, we can try to keep relations up with all of our neighbors, I guess. I'll even improve relations with Korea. Why not? And Ming has changed. Ming has decided to rival two one province miners. Jai Salmer and Miwat. And I don't quite understand this. This is Ming we're talking about here. He has rivaled Miwat, a one-province miner here south of Delhi, and Jai Salmer, uh, a one-province miner south of the Timurids. I mean, for fuck's sake, Ming, why do you consider those guys rivals? I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense. But we keep losing 20 relations with him for enemy of enemy because we don't get that bonus because he keeps changing his rivals to little minor nations in India for some reason. All right, let's repay some loans. Oh, one more loan. We almost have the monies. We have the technology. And we're also at maximum manpower, which means we should delete some of these guys and place them. Actually, what's our limit? It is 19. All right, maybe we won't replace them. Let's, uh, well, not replace them. Of course we'll replace them. Maybe we won't delete them yet. Ochi declared war on Yamana. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if Ochi annexes everybody, or if Yamana annexes everybody, then, then we can use that CB to kill him. All right, that'll work. Go for it. You guys have fun. What about if I, how about, how about this Twitch chat? How about if I sell Ochi some provinces? If I sell him some provinces, then will I be able to use the NX Vassal CB? Anyone know? Oh my God, again? Monetary reforms again? It's twice in like five years, Jesus. So to sell in the provinces and then we can declare war. Okay. That works. No. 
No, 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 no. Rasta, that's not true. When Japan declared war on me with the Unite, not he didn't use it. He used a next vassal as his causes belief. When he declared war on me, he didn't lose his vassals. All right. Okay, our loans are gone. Let's go ahead and uh, I really want to get rid of them. Uh, yeah, I'm just get rid of the fucking inflation. Fuck you, inflation. Let's get some units. Let's get some cav. God, those are expensive. They're very pretty though, right? Pretty horses. Pretty horses. Oh, you mean when you hit that button? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're saying if we hit this, the Unite Japan thing, you're saying that this will give us Kazus Bali on our vassals? It'll release the vassals, but then we'll get Kazus Bali to annex them? Do we then have a truce, or can we attack them right away? This is the info I need to know. Thank you. All right, let's delete half of our mercs. There's no truce? Okay. And you get a CB that actually lets you annex them no matter what size they are. You have to fabricate claims? What, really? So you don't get a CB to annex them? Are you kidding me? And of course, we still have the bug where it's not uh, popping up windows, letting me know when we've reached a maximum relations. All right, uh, if we, are you sure we have to fabricate claims? We can't fabricate claims. We have their vassals. We can't fabricate claims on vassals. That's ridiculous. So you hit the button to unite Japan, and it kicks out your vassals. You no longer have vassals. Okay, I get that, but it doesn't give you CBs on them to annex them. So you have to fabricate claims after you've kicked them out, meaning by then they could have formed alliances with Ming, for instance. I, I, that just sounds really shaky. Oh, complaints about the bailiff. I hate this event. Either you lose stability or you lose a buttload of prestige. 33 prestige is a lot to lose, but I'm willing to lose 33 prestige. Oh well, I'll just keep building units. We'll delete the mercs. Alright, give me the mercs. Should be six of them. Let's delete those guys. Alright, soldiers.
I wonder what's going to happen in that war. Seems to be going pretty back and forth. But yeah, these units are far cheaper upkeep. 0.21 instead of 0.54. So it's about... Um, 150% more expensive for the mercenaries for upkeep. But they don't uh, spend any manpower, so they're pretty good. That's the one thing that sucks, is manpower goes away. It's like, oh, well. Manpower's gone now, bro. Bro. Oh, it looks like Manchu had an heir. Fuck you, Manchu. You and your fucking... Yep. 62, and he finally has an heir. You little dick. Little Dick, that's what they call you, right? Little Dick. Yeah, Ochi is kicking him on his butt. Oh no, someone died. No. And everyone's too expensive. God damn it. I think we'll go for the morale guy. Fake kids? I don't know. I mean, he is 62. That doesn't mean he can't get a boner, it just means no one probably wants to jump his boner. Right? Wow, we're really close to getting uh, the next tech levels for everything. Cool. Oh, well, get relations back up. Uh, Ming is still pretty good. Uh, Korea is something or other. No one else is really interesting. VJ might be interesting. Let's get relations with VJ. You know, maybe he'll help us with something. Maybe Atsa too. I don't know. We'll see. What's our force limit? 19, I think. Yeah, so we're pretty much there. Uh, let's get one more soldier. Basically, I want to start the annexation of Sheba. And then go to war with uh, Ochi. At least that's the plan. Keep an ego eye on this stupid relations thing because it's bugged right now. I guess we'll just wait until January. No, no, no peasant war. No, no peasant war. No. Yes, we can do more trade ships, definitely. But no peasant war. Okay, Sheba. Relations, go. Alright, that'll take some time. We're going to get 32 points out of it. Uh, that, won't wi that won't quite be enough. But a couple years down the road, we should be able to annex them. Or start annexing them. Which is all I really want to do. I want to get that ball rolling so that if we take any more aggressive expansion for beating up on our vassals, 
then at least that annexation is already going. It won't stop. No peasant war. We still have 9k manpower. Out of 18k, we're at 50% manpower. That's not a problem. Problem? Problem. Alright, let's get some uh, trade ships rolling out. Yamana will seed Setsu, Harima, and Tajima. Holy crap. So, he's up to seven provinces now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So I could sell him Setsuma, Aki, and Yamato. And that'll give him 10 provinces. All right. And then we can go beat him up, right? Wow, poor Yamana. Poor Yamana. My goodness. Yes, Yamato OP, I agree. Manchu's at plus 100, but they still hate us. I don't quite understand that logic. Well, VJ is getting up there. You want a marriage or something? No? Damn it, VJ. We could do enemy of enemy, but eh. Ming has decided... Oh, Ming actually has decent rivals now. Look at that. Instead of one province miners, he's now rivaling VJ and Manchu. Ming, you have graduated. <laughs> you are learning. No, a general has died. Oh, man. Oh, well. He'll do. 1-3? That's not bad. All right, more ships. I really wish there was a different way to build, because this is fucking annoying. Ugh. There we go. Come on back from VJ. Pretty sure we're done with them. Yeah. We're done with Sheba as well. But uh, it's going to be one more year. No, it might be two more years. I don't know. Let's go ahead and send him a gift. Can't hurt. Peasants War in Manchu. Take that, Manchu. Dick. That's what you get for going hostile. Yeah, one more year until we can start an exiting Shiba. That's fine. All right, everybody group up. Nice, okay. Really, Japan is orange? Oh, that's interesting. I'm pretty sure Japan is supposed to be red, and this is actually representing Takeda's color. <laughs> Weird. Oh, wow. Manchu ended their peasants war already? That was fucking instant. He's like, nah, we don't feel like having a peasants war. Gone. Alright, we can do armories now. Armories are amazing.
They're not cheap, but they're amazing. Alright, here we go. January, we're gonna start. Oh, fuck me. Last time I took the 33 prestige hit. Man, we're just getting tons of bad events. It reminds me of the last time I played Japan. <laughs> oh, man, that was... Wow, that was awful. Alright, come on, January 1st. Bingo, 191. So... Come on home, Borowski. What's next? Yeah. Alright, 0.68 per month. Not a problem. 12 years, I don't care. Build more ta more um, manpower buildings. Yes. Okay, so you have claims all over him. If I just leave him alone, he'll probably just go annex uh, Yamana. And that would make my life easier. So, yeah. I think we'll leave him alone. We'll let him go do that. That'll be in two years. He has claims on both provinces, and he's cored everything, right? Yeah, he's already cored everything. He's quick about it. Then we can sell him one province and go beat him up. Well, there are no claimable thrones in the world today. Interesting. And Yamana keeps trying to fight Ochi. It doesn't work, okay? You can't fight him. It doesn't work. I mean, he keeps trying to coalition him, but you can't coalition the daimyos. You can't do it. Stop trying. Taungu has a claimable throne. Taungu exists? Holy crap, look at Lan Na taking half of Shan. When did that happen? Why did that happen? What the fuck? And Pegu ate more of Ayadhaya. Oh my goodness, Ayadhaya. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. You're, you're looking sad there, Ayadhaya. That's not the normal state for Ayadhaya. They're usually a lot bigger than that. I have to explain this to women all the time. Alright, uh, Oirats, Timurids, VJ. I think VJ is going to be a good jumping point. Can we, can we do anything with you? Yeah, we can set Bengal as a rival, I guess. There you go. We'll work with VJ. I'm willing to work with VJ. Why not? Uh, and our diplomats are doing nothing. Armories are finishing. Very good. Very good. Ah, more armories. Great. So his truce will be up in about a year and a half. And he should just go annex Yamana. That'd be fantastic. He'd be at nine provinces. I sell him Setsuma. And then we go to war and crush his face. Right? And then it's only one war and not, like, multiple wars. Yamana keeps trying to go for that coalition. It just does it doesn't work. You can't do it. I'm so sorry, Yamana. No, doesn't work. He keeps trying. He is dead set on making it work. The AI simply does not care that the code doesn't allow it. He's like, fuck your code. We're gonna do it anyway. Prove legitimacy. Get a hundred legitimacy. Well. As soon as I die, that will happen. So, okay. That's a pretty easy mission. Just die. Alright, let me put my king in the army. Uh, I'll split the army in half. And put my king in the other army. There you go. And then when he dies, cross your fingers, we'll finish that mission. Yay! Yay! Now we're going to have to find a way to kill his navy, or at least defeat it so that we can get across these islands. And that means we should probably get some 
some galleys. It's a good thing they're nice and cheap, huh? No, my Master of Mint died. That means we're going to get inflation problems again. Fuck. God damn it. There's nobody interesting out there. Assassination of a noble. Uh, let them solve it among themselves. Lose 30 legitimacy. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Go ahead. Let's just lose all the legitimacy and just wait for our king to die. Because as soon as our king dies, legitimacy just bounces right back. What is our naval force on anyway? Are we at it? Oh, we're over it. Oh shit. All right, stop. Stop building navy. That should be plenty. I'm curious though. Will will a hostile vassal even buy a province? We might have a problem here. We might be expecting this guy to buy a province and maybe he won't because he hates us. He is a vassal, though, so maybe he will. I simply don't know. Let's find out. No, he will. Even though he hates us, he will buy our provinces. Okay. So he's not, uh... He's not too proud to buy something from Japan. <laughs> Okay, that should be plenty. 11 galleys and what, 15 trade ships? Uh, yeah, 11 and 15. That should be fine. Let me group them up, though. Yeah, everything around us is Inland Sea except this tile. So that's good. So our galleys will be at full strength anytime they fight. Great. Great. So you're going to declare your war yet? I mean, your truce is up. Go on. I can see the claims you have. Right there. Oh, he lost a claim over here. I guess he's going to refabricate the second claim. He wants to make sure he's ready to go. He's prepared. Go on. Do your war. Ooh, Oirats have dispute succession. Okay, but uh, he's... No, he is 56. Interesting. Go on. Go declare your war. There it is. I knew he was going to do it. All right, so Yaman is going to annex uh, Ochi. Our general died. Whatever, I have my king. Yaman is going to annex Ochi, and then we'll have our CB on Yamana, right? 
hopefully. Godzilla Japan? Well, I guess. Maybe special event Godzilla just rolls up. Beats down everybody. Alright, come on Yamana, just hurry up. Annex them. Shogun's reputation tarnished. Execute someone or lose 100 Diplo points. God damn it, either one is terrible. What's with all these bad events? Just non-stop bad events. Alright. Yep, go and next him. Really? You're going to let him get, it, get this back? Oh, he may not. There's only 500 defenders, though, so he probably will get it back before they finish this siege. Depends if the walls will bust. If the walls bust here, then it's a done deal. Not yet, though. Yep, ball's busted up here, so he's gonna... This is just so stupid. He's got 13 units, but he won't split up to go siege both at the same time. And that's allowing the enemy army to unsiege his... his... God damn it, so stupid. The AI is really dumb. I didn't say anything. No, I think I did. The AI is really dumb. Ming is embargoing me. Why would you do that, Ming? Oh, he rivaled me. God damn it. I've been nice to you this whole time, Ming. We got relations up to plus 100, and you just go piss it all out the window, you sack of shit. I hate you so much, Ming. I can't even express to you how much I hate you. That's how much it is. You know? And now... Now Ouchi is losing this war because they lost their siege. For fuck's sake, Ouchi. AI, be stupid. I had this all planned out. And everything was based on you succeeding in this war. So you better not fuck it up, Ouchi. Don't you dare fuck this up. Okay, he caught the arm. Okay, there you go. That's all he had to do was kill that army, and now he can end this war in peace. Great. And he's got the walls busted. Good. Finish the damn war, you bastard. Oh, I really wish there was a guy for, what is it called, inflation reduction, but there's not. Okay, he annexed him. Great. Now, I don't get the CB yet. We'll wait till the end of the month. 